Hey guys, Flypack Effects here and welcome back to another Premiere tutorial. Now you guys have highly requested this tutorial on how to make this text message effect inside of Premiere. Now for those of you who want to support this channel further, or for those who don't have the time to complete this tutorial and want to fast track I've made this into a Premiere template, which you can purchase via the description below. Now, for those of you who wanna know how this is done, the first thing you'll need to do is download these text bubble images, and I've put them in a link in the description below as well. Now, the first thing we're going to do is come up to File and create a new sequence. Now, your sequence you can set to whatever you like, but I'm just gonna use this RE108025. Next, we're gonna drag our first text bubble onto the timeline. So I'm gonna zoom in slightly here. Now I can also, now I'm also just gonna zoom in here just so we can see what we're doing. And the first thing we wanna do is actually animate this text bubble. So we do this by first setting the anchor point. Now, depending on the version of Premiere that you're using, you can either just manually drag the anchor point down to this corner, or you can use these to manually set. Now, once we've dragged that down to that position, we're gonna create a scale keyframe at the very start. Then what I wanna do here is zoom in slightly and we're gonna go across to about eight frames. And I'm gonna create another keyframe. Can zoom into our keyframes here. And I'm gonna come back just a little bit here and create another one. Now with my first keyframe selected, I'm gonna make this zero. And with this middle keyframe selected, I'm gonna scale this up to about there. So that's how we get that bounce effect. The other thing we can do is I can right click on that keyframe and create a bezier, and that's just gonna smooth out that transition. So that's the first part done, we create the text bubble. Now another thing we can do here is we can change the opacity to 70%, and this will just make it see-through when you drop your footage in behind. And the other thing we can do is we can come down to the effects controls, we can come down to video effects, and there's a few ways to do this, but I'm gonna come down to the color correction and select this change to color and drop that straight in over the top. I'm also gonna select this from color, and then I can change this color to be like a blue or whatever you like and change this to hue lightness and saturation. Okay, so that's looking pretty good there. Now the next thing is we now need to start adding the text layers. Now depending on the version of Premiere you're using, you can either right click in the project window and create a new title. But if you're using from 2017 up, you do this by coming down to the type tool and then we just simply draw out a box and then we can type out our text. And I'm gonna select all that text and you can scale it down using this slider here. I'm also gonna change the text to Helvetica New and I'm gonna set this to be light. So I can now just reposition this to something like that. And this is just going to be our little title which sits on top of our text bubble. Now the other thing I'm gonna add here is if I come to the effect panel again, this time I'm gonna to go to Video Transitions and then just add a Cross Dissolve just to the start of this. And if I zoom in here, I can just adjust this slightly. And then you can see as the text bubble comes in, we've just got our title fading in over the top. Now we're ready to actually duplicate and create the main text in the bubble. So a quick way to do this is if I hold Option or Alt on my keyboard, I can just drag this straight up and that's gonna create a duplicate. If you are using CS6 and you had to create a title, you'll need to select that title and then right click and duplicate that, then double click it and drag it into the timeline. But that's only if you're using Premiere CS6. Now we're ready to move this down. So I'm gonna select my motion tab and then just move this down into this position. Now I'm ready just to type out my next text. I'm also going to come down here to where it says tracking and just drag this down. That's gonna squish my letters a little bit closer together. I can also drag out this box and also increase the size here. Then just reposition it. Now I'm also gonna delete the cross dissolve on this layer. And for this layer, 
we want the text to appear as if it's being typed out. Now there are a few ways to do this and it will depend on the version of Premiere you're using, but one way that does work from CS6 all the way up is to use the transition wipe or linear wipe, depending on the version that you're using. Now you can adjust the length of this wipe by either adjusting this transition length, but that looks pretty good there. Now I'm gonna rename this sequence to bubble one, and that's our first text bubble created. Now, if you're using Premiere 2017 up, all I need to now do is just duplicate that sequence and then rename it to bubble two. If you're using CS6, you'll need to duplicate not only the sequence, but each of the text layers to create your bubble two. Now for this one, we want the text bubble to be coming from the other side. So if I select my bubble one, I can just select my text bubble two in here and while holding Option or Alt on the keyboard, I can just drag this straight over the top and it's automatically gonna replace it. Now the first thing we'll notice here is that it's coming up from the wrong side. So we'll need to readjust that anchor point to the other corner now, and we can also readjust that color to whatever you like there. Now we're ready to readjust and position our text however we like. So the first thing I'm going to do is select our title and I'm going to drag this across. Then you can mess around changing the title to whatever you like. Then I can change my text to whatever you like. And the first thing you'll notice here, we've got more text than we've got bubble space. So we can fix this by readjusting the position of that text. I'm then gonna drag down this blue box just to reveal a little bit more of that text there. Now eventually the amount of text you have will be more than the bubble size. So you'll need to readjust the bubble to make it all fit. So we can do this by selecting the text bubble, zooming in here on the effects control panel, and there's a uniform scale button, which I'm gonna unclick. And you can see here what it's doing is only scaling on the height function. So we need to create more keyframes for the width as well. So I'm gonna line up my keyframes and I'm going to create more keyframes here to line up with my original, so we're back where we started. I'm also just gonna drag this over slightly just so we can line it up with our text better. Now the important thing here is before we adjust anything, you'll need to select the last two keyframes for your scale height and scale width. If you don't do this, you'll find that your text bubble will do a very funny animation and it won't evenly transform. So it's important to select those last two keyframes for both the height and width, and then we can readjust the bubble so it sits correctly. I'm then also just gonna readjust the position and then drag this back to the start. Also gonna bring over the text on this one, just so it comes in a bit earlier, and there you go. So that's how you resize the bubble if you need to. Now the other thing I can do here, is I'm just gonna create a new sequence. I'm just gonna call this one text message, and then I can drag my sequences that I've already created straight in to that new composition. Then I'm just gonna reset my view here, and with my bubble one selected, I can now just come up to the motion tab and reposition it till we get something like this. So that's how you create the bubbles and the text popping up with inside. Now say I wanna edit this text or I wanna create more of the bubbles. So to edit the text, all you have to do is double click the bubble you want to edit and then it'll open up the nested sequence and then you can just go through and change the text as you please. Now if you wanna create another bubble, all you have to do is just follow that process we did for the first one but this time you'll go back to bubble one because you'll want your bubble to start on this side and pop up. So I just recreate that bubble by duplicating it, calling it bubble three, and then you can drag it on top and reposition it. I can then double click and then edit the bubble as you please. Now the last thing you can do here is add some footage in behind your text bubbles and then you've got your footage in behind your text bubbles. So there you go guys, that's how easy it is to create this effect. I hope you learned something. Thanks very much for watching and remember, Flatpak Effects is the Flatpak anyone can build.